Hi everybody, welcome back for another Shave America video. Today's video is on the state of Utah. The opening song is Utah, This Is The Place. Now let's get to some fun facts. Utah gets its name from the Ute Native American tribe. It means people of the mountain. 60% of the residents of Utah belong to the Mormon church. Given the strong Mormon culture, most won't typically use swear words. However, residents have found a way around the unwritten rule by using phrases such as, shut the front door, and oh heck, and what the frick? If you are at the Great Salt Lake, it is the largest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. It's the remnant of a much larger prehistoric lake called Lake Bonneville. The lake originally stretched over a good portion of present-day Utah. Given the great natural supply of salt water, it's no surprise that saltwater taffy is a traditional favorite of Utahians. Taffy Town Taffy is a store located in the heart of Salt Lake City that has over 70 flavors of taffy to choose from. Here's a pick for you guys. And if taffy doesn't give you that sweet tooth, then perhaps you may enjoy Jell-O. Jell-O is Utah's state snack. Residents eat, on average, twice as much than anywhere else in the world. It's become a local favorite, and it's often served with shredded carrots mixed in. Hmm. I like Jell-O. I like carrots. I don't know if I'd like them together, but hey, if you're in Utah, you gotta try it, right? As they say, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. Well, when in Utah, do what the Utah people do. Right, okay, let's move on here. Yeah. So that is the opening of our Utah State Shave. And the, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you what the scents were. The scents, simple, spruce needles. Now, at the time I was picking up soaps, I had a couple different types of uh, pine scents, stuff like that. So today we're gonna use a sample that I got some time ago. And this is called Bad Moor. And this is by Murphy and McNeil. Now, Bad Moor, if you've shaved with it, it tends to lend itself to the bay rum type scent, but it's not real strong. It does have notes of orange, and vanilla, um, it has some nutmeg, you know, but it's a very light bay rum. In fact, it could, it falls into the bay rum category. However, you can pick out notes of different scents and it does have a uh, pine as a heart note. And that's why I chose to go with the bad more today because pine, spruce needles, what have you. Okay, I have it whipped up in the fine bowl. I mean, look at that lather. And we're using the regiment uh, brush. This is the two-tone gray and black with the uh, black tuxedo knot. It's a synthetic brush. And this is just an absolute beautiful, beautiful lather. So we're going to use those. And to start the day off, I'm just going to throw some water a little bit of water on the face, and I decided to go with some eucalyptus pre-shave oil. Now this is from Mountaineer brand, and the reason why I'm going to do some pre-shave oil is because I have several days of growth, and today we are going to put the Timeless Razor to the test. We're going to see if this bad boy can handle a beard. <laughs> it's coming off. And inside the Timeless, we're going to use a Wilkinson Sword um, Gillette from India. And this is the Saloon Blade. And that's on its uh, third use. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pre-shave oil on. I figured eucalyptus will stay in the plant family. Now, last time I did this, I was using the Naked Armor set. 
which has an aggressive head. The Tyros is not an aggressive razor, but I have not shaved my beard area in a while and I have some imperfections, so I just need to be careful. I need to remember not to go super fast because the Timeless, although it's a smooth shave, you, you can get a little careless because it feels so nice in the hand. It's so light. I whipped up. However, I did not put the blade in, so let's do that. Timeless being a three-piece razor. There we are. And this has the locking mechanisms that go into that long channel single post. This will be my final shave with the Timeless. I've enjoyed it immensely. Once again, thank you to my friend Ken for letting me borrow this. And it will be moving on after this shave. I've had it for entirely way too long. I'm spoiled, but thank you. All right. There we are. So, let's take some of this lather. Now, I do smell the pine. I smell the vanilla. I smell the orange. I smell the nutmeg. I do smell the pine. And I made sure that I had a little bit extra in the bowl. Simply because we're going to be taking the hair off. Now, I would keep it on for the rest of the summer because, as you guys know, I ride motorcycles. Well, motorcycle, I only have one. But it's a pain in the butt having to wear these stupid masks. And it just gets... Well, I'm, I, you know what? It's not stupid. It's the right thing to do, but it just gets itchy. So, time to move on a little bit. Yeah, very nice. Mixes well with the eucalyptus. I smell the pine. I do. I do smell the uh, the nutmeg and the um, the the bay. You know, the patchouli, the vanilla, the spices that you would tend to smell. And some bay rums uh, do, do cause irritation simply because of the spices. And this is, this is tempered, this is mild. It's a very nice scent, it's a light scent, but strong enough to pick out the notes. And it's not, it doesn't feel heavy, the ingredients on the face. So. If any of you do have a reaction to shaving with some sort of bay rum, you may want to give Murphy and McNeil a try. This is a very nice uh, blend. Okay, here we go. Timeless. And we're talking about Utah. Have any of you guys been following all the stuff going on with sports? I mean... Basically, Disney is the hub for uh, basketball. You know, the NHL is trying to do their quick tournament so that they can uh, award the Stanley Cup winner in hockey. Football is just about kicked off. <laughs> the Washington No Names. And... Uh, You know, the players being able to opt out if they choose they don't want to play. I guess the, one of the linemen from the Kansas City Chiefs had done that. So, very strange times. But, at least, sports is on the horizon. Uh, baseball, you know, going to play baseball with no fans. I'm going to have to rinse this razor because it's so tight, the blade gap. Just need to take your time. It seems to be doing okay. I 
mean, it's chopping it down. My wife likes it. She says, I look too young with the beard gone. My mom, on the other hand, says I should look younger than to shave it. I mean, they'll let me do what I want to do, but uh, my wife's not home. She's at her mother-in-law's with my daughter. They have a pool, so they're doing some swimming. So when they come home, I'll be a different man. No hair. She's seen me before with it, but... How about uh, back to baseball, talking about the sports. The Blue Jays have decided to play in Buffalo. Now, we have a uh, AAA team called the Bisons, and uh, obviously there's no people going to be watching, so we don't have to worry about the size of the ballpark and the you know, how many people you could fit in the stands to watch the game, so that's not a big concern. But with ours being a AAA park, it doesn't exactly meet the standards that the Major League Baseball organization has. So we have uh, warm up, the pitchers warm up down the uh, outfield line, like way back in the corner, right field, left field. They'll be in the field of play, warming up. So that's one of the things that uh, they're looking at changing. We do have some space. Uh, behind the outfield that are used for like party atmospheres and they're looking to commandeer some of that space so you know this is this is having a tough time right on the chin I probably have to maybe go against the green here see now it's a dry it's getting dry nice I, shaved all of the hair away. I think I'm gonna have to recycle this blade at the end of this shave because I'm starting to feel it. It's having a hard time. Lots of hair in the sink, man. I'm just gonna rinse some of this down. Probably gonna have to uh, Loosen this up because I have some hairs. I don't know if you can see there. I got hairs that are stuck in the blade. So it's tight squeeze. Definitely a tight squeeze. It can handle a uh, a beard to some extent, but if the hair is really long, then timeless may not be the right choice. I do have the um, uh, what you call it. Uh, progress that I had purchased and I was going to use the progress to shave off the beard but I figured let's let the timeless have a go and let's see what we can do so I'm just gonna take the timeless apart quick turn on the water just clean this off get all the hair out of there so that way I can have full use of the blade Rinsing the blade off quick. We'll throw it back together. Put some more water in the sink so I could rinse the razor. And put the razor back together. Now I have wet hands and I don't trust because I had slipped once. So I just use a towel and I hold the ends just to give it a, a little snug twist. 
Okay. Let's go. Put some more cream here. Right in that area. Oh yeah, that's better. Boy, this really, uh, this really jams up. But we're down to uh, skin now. I'm just trying to knock this down a little bit more. I don't want to have so much left for pass two. I just hope that my chin will handle it. myself a little bit scrape in there all right so before we do the next application of water uh, or the water uh, the shave soap let's give you some more tidbits on Utah Utah is known as one of the best places for paleontology in North America Due to a vast variety of different rocks capable of preserving fossils, the state has the most dinosaur species in the country. Now, Utah has extremely strict liquor laws. Any beer that is over 4% ABV is considered liquor and cannot be sold at grocery stores, taverns, or convenience stores. Bars in Utah are also known to have Zion curtains frosted glass barriers that prevent patrons from seeing the bartender mix drinks. Here is a picture of a bar that has some Zion curtains. That's pretty funky, huh? To, to not be able to see the bartender. In fact, in my research, I was looking at some photos of wedding uh, pictures and and different gatherings and they have these people serving drinks tucked behind a big curtain and you can't see what they're doing. <laughs> it was strange man but hey that's Utah. So no cocktail is allowed to have more than a legal shot of liquor which is 1.5 ounces. During 2017 a law change allowed restaurants to remove the Zion curtain with certain compromises. Some locations chose not to act and still have their curtains displayed today. Additionally, under the new liquor law, prices in state-run liquor stores for wine and spirits were sold at a cost markup of 88%. Beer will be sold at cost plus markup of 66%. If you live in Utah, guys, I'm sorry, man. Give me your address. I gotta send you some beer because that is a heck of a markup for alcohol or wine or beer. I mean, come on. Let the people enjoy their drinks. Oh. Anyway, Southern Utah has a NASA funded program for astronauts training for a trip to Mars. Members of the Mars Desert Research Station, or MDRS, use the desert's rocky terrain as a simulator to help practice collecting data on the red planet. Six astronauts usually train at a time. They live in a habitat and can only leave while wearing a spacesuit. So if you see anybody walking around in a spacesuit in Utah, they're training for the Mars mission. All right, let's grab some more of this uh, cream. Put it on, see a little bit. Oh, I just lost a big blob in the sink. That's all right. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to use the pre shape oil because I knew it was going to be a a 
nice scraping across the chin. I mean, the Timeless got through it. It struggled, but it got through it at your expense because it just took extra time, but you know. If you wanted to see it, there you go. The Timeless tackled a goatee. All right, let's go across the green. Now the Wilkinson Sword too is a, is a mild blade, so. I haven't shaved. Chin area in quite a while. If you don't have a lot of hair, it's a really smooth shave. can go across the, the grain on my nose and not have any irritation. It gets up under the nose real nice. Yeah, just gonna have to hit it with the Allen block I think a little bit. Super smooth on the cheeks though. Man, that is a nice smooth shave. Good scent soap. Nice performing soap. Slick. Very slick. Wow, I must have uh, must have got my trouble points because it feels really good. I mean, there's nothing there. Yeah. Well, look at that. We had to compensate a little bit for the beard, but. Two pass shave, I think. Uh, that that wow. I think maybe just a touch up here, and then uh, then we'll do a quick rinse. Put some alum on. Finish up this Utah shave. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna file this razor. I mean, I got three shaves out of it, but it's uh, it had to work extra hard. Wow, for that beard. So there we go. Okay, let me take a pause. I'm gonna rinse. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. All rinsed off. Just gonna apply some. Alum to the face. See how much stinging we have here. Not too bad right there, not too bad. Cold water helped with this uh, little weeper under the chin. Yeah, a little sting in there. That's to be expected though. Scraping pretty good. I think I went too long without reapplying some uh, shave cream, but. Live and learn, right? Yeah, no stinging on here whatsoever. All right. Dry that off quick. Put it in there. We'll let that 
dry before we put it away completely. I probably should have did this while you guys were waiting for me to finish up, but uh, it reset on me. I hate when it resets on me. Okay. Final thoughts on Utah. If you're in Utah and craving a milkshake, then visit the one and only Dairy Keen. Located in Herber City, this burger joint has won Best in State Awards for burgers and shakes for several years. Here is a picture of Dairy Keen. Now you're probably thinking of the chain Dairy Queen because the name sounds so close. In 1946, the Mahinis family went into business and opened a motel. They had extra property which they leased to an individual that opened a Dairy Queen. After falling on hard times, the owner of the Dairy Queen sold the store back to the Mahini family, who in turn were planning to sell both the store and the land together. After some time passed with no sale, the Mahinis needed to turn a profit to pay the bills. So the family went into the restaurant business, and with the little money they had at the time, the name of the store was changed to Dairy Keen. After rebuilding the restaurant in 1998, the name was rebranded to be Dairy Keen, home of the train. And that is the one and only Dairy Keen in the world. Utah folks know the difference between steakhouse and steakhouse. Don't expect a big juicy piece of steak or prime rib when you're invited out to a steakhouse. These locations are popular in the state and serve as a meeting house for local congregations of the Latter-day Saints. So just make sure that you talk to the person inviting you out for steak and ask them how they spell it, or else you may go hungry. And then finally, when in Utah, you can't have fries without fry sauce. What's fry sauce? Well, fry sauce is the king of all condiments, according to Utah folk. It's a state staple that residents have come to love, and it can be found in pretty much every grocery store in Utah. The ingredients are ketchup and mayonnaise. And that is the State Shave for Utah. And now we're going to finish and get the alum off the base. There we go. Nice and smooth. Man, I tell you, even with a beard, that timeless, whoa. it does the trick. It does the trick. It comes with a high price tag, but it does the trick. And man, I still have I still have soap left, but oh, I I made enough just to make sure that I could do three passes, and I, I I don't need a third pass. I really don't need a third pass. Literally BBS, even with taking the beard off. So I'm going to stop short and I'm not going to irritate my skin. We're just going to go with it. So we're going to have some Thayer's Cucumber. Even though we use some alum. Just throw some toner on there. A nice layer. Base layer. There we go. It smells nice. It's a plant. Vegetable. But that's all right. And uh, since I did a lot of scraping, I'm going to use some Harry's uh, post-shave balm with aloe in it. So we're going to do some, some balm today. This smells nice. Maybe we'll sit outside and enjoy a drink or two as the sun goes down and it's not as hot today. I stocked up the humidor. So probably have a stove or something later on. All right. 
And then for the final topper, here we are. Harry's Post Mist Spray with Botanical Extract. Calms and refreshes, and I do like this. It's a pump, and this is nice to just give a squirt. Mm, smells nice. It goes with the pine scent. Perfect ending to a shave. And I'm going to get out of here and finish my chores for the day. Thank all of you for watching and giving me your support. Looking forward to reading your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Take care, and we'll speak to you real soon.